Hello everyone and welcome back to a brand new video. Today I'm gonna show you the new upcoming RX 500 series. Well, it's looking pretty promising, but first I want to thank uh, Eric Prestineri. He tweeted or he chatted with me on Facebook through the Facebook page of Buried One. You can always do that if you want to ask some questions or something, but I'm pretty busy at the moment, so I really don't respond immediately because it's getting really busy to answer to all of you. So first of all, the RX 500 series are not a threat because I can see as an experienced miner that we don't see too much improvements for, for this moment in the memory clock speed. So if you want to mine Ethereum, it's all memory clock speed based. And as you can see, the RX 480 has, for example, 8000 megahertz, and the 580 will have 8000 megahertz memory too. So that's not going to improve too much. And if they are still using Elpida, Samsung, Hynix, and Micron memory, that's not going to increase the hash rate as well. So I'm really uh, pretty sure that it's not going to increase too much for Ethereum mining, unless the Kerr clock is just going to be a little bit higher than normal, like 15 or 20 percent. But I know I always downclock my core clock speeds because it's just uh, drawing too much power. And that's going to be exactly the same for the 580s and 570s. They only raise the clock speed. So what have they changed on the 500 series? Now the cards are on a 6-pin power connector and they want to change it to a 8-pin connector. So they can draw more power out of your system, but that also increases the amount of power that's going to be used for mining. So. It was really limited on the core clock and they knew the cards had some more potential with mining with more core clock. So this only improves it for gaming and for coins that are core based like Zcash, Pascal coin and whatsoever. So we can see a really high improvement on the gaming performance and the core clock speed based coins. But we're not going to see too much difference on Ethereum mining. And that's going to be almost exactly the same. But the prices of the cards are about $300 each. And they may put down the price of the RX 470s and 480s even more. So we can expand our empire even higher. So I'm not really sure what's going to happen. But from two weeks from now, we may have a card in our own hands. So hopefully you all enjoyed this video. And thank you for everything. We are almost at 3000 subscribers. That's really damn nice. Hope you all enjoyed the video. See you guys in the next one.